Heard any good jokes lately? Please don't make me laugh at this. I need all y'all fat fucks to keep that same energy, okay? <laughs> all right, I want this biggest beautiful shit. I want y'all to keep that same fucking energy with this. Don't start losing weight now that it can kill you like we've been telling you for your entire fucking lives that being fat is not healthy and it's bad for you. It is the number one reason that in age, you know, that people kept saying the shit that it's an old person disease only killing old people is killing fat people as well. Okay. So we would need Lizzo and all these motherfucking biggest, beautiful bitches out here that can't tell you how good it is to be fat. You're helping people die. You're enabling the coronavirus. You're basically telling people keep smoking cigarettes during Corona. Keep vaping during Corona. Yeah. Fat people aren't, they're not motivated by fear of death, though. They Otherwise, they'd have been lost weight. Mm. So this ain't going to reach them. I don't think that they believe fatness causes fear of death. That's my issue with the, the body positivity movement is they don't equate obesity to death. They equate obesity to the size of their bones. This stupid thing where, like, I'm just big boned. Have you ever seen a skeleton nah, and don't it's big boned? What? People aren't saying that anymore. Yes, they are. Nah. The biggest beautiful movement is not I'm fat, I'm, I'm, or I'm not fat, I'm just big bone. It's I'm fat and that's beautiful. Yeah. That's what Jamila <laughs> Jamil, this, that, they, this is the problem. Is the, and I, I root for this brown girl. but she, They really she think that's their body no, type. No, they don't. <laughs> they do. <laughs> All their fat they think is attributed to being big bone. Not just the size of their bones, but their body type. This is how I am. This is my body type. I'm more, I'm more predisposed to being fat. I don't even think that they word it like that. You're talking to <laughs> retards, bro. You're talking to people who don't understand science. You think they ought to? <laughs> <laughs> Just because they don't read nutrition labels doesn't mean they don't understand them. They don't understand science, bro. They're not like me. <laughs> They're not like me, dog. They don't understand it. What's that? <laughs> It reminded yeah. me of this rocker. Rocker's remarks on our show back in November, me of outrage Met fans. It was do, do you remember John Rocker's quote? Dude, yes. I remember exactly. He it's said, crazy. He goes, why would I want to go to Shea Stadium where I take the seven train, yeah, yeah. which is filled with a woman with seven of her kids, a guy <laughs> with a pink mohawk who probably has AIDS, <laughs> and he throws so batteries? Queer. <laughs> <laughs> Am I getting it pretty close? He's very close. <laughs> rocker told SI he would never play for a New York team. Here's a recap of his most inflammatory remarks. Quote, imagine having to take the number seven train to the ballpark, looking like you're riding through Beirut, next to some kid with purple hair, next to some queer with AIDS, right next to some dude who just got out of jail for the fourth time, right next to some 20-year-old mom with four kids. It's depressing. And about New York City itself, Rocker said, the biggest thing I don't like about New York are the foreigners. I'm not a very big fan of foreigners. You can walk an entire block in Times Square and not hear anybody speaking English. Asians and Koreans, Vietnamese and Indians and Russians and Spanish people and everything up there. How the hell do they get in this country? I think. <laughs> Who's that? It's John, it's John Rocker. Rocker. Old picture for the Braves. He's He's Kenny Powell. I think. I like how they're blaming the video games. Video games cause violence. Come on. Video games don't cause violence. Video games cause carpal tunnel and vaginal dryness. <laughs> I know a lot of guys, they play eight hours of video games a day. Their girlfriends are like, violent. <laughs> Slap my ass. Choke me. I'm dying here. <laughs> Look, I don't think games translate to real life. I grew up playing Monopoly with my friends. None of them now own property. <laughs> I'm just saying... Jesus could have been an alien. Mm. Jesus is dope, bro. Jesus Put some respect dope. on Jesus, man. Put some respect on Jesus' name, man. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's because Jesus Christ is my nigga. Ooh, Ryan Cooper says, what is a questionable fetish that you can't, won't understand? Hmm. Nah, feet is dope. <laughs> Everybody getting feet. Barbie uh, came out. Y'all couldn't stop talking about feet. Stop dick y'all, riding. Y'all. Stop dick riding. <laughs> y'all. Y'all. All of the Hollywood. It's a billion dollar movie. Billion dollar movie yeah. sold on feet. Why was it sold on feet? I didn't see it. What do you mean why? The whole ad, the billboard with her little heels pointed up. They got her toes out. Really? Yeah. Y'all all like feet too. You just scared. Don't be scared. What would Jesus do? Um, a questionable what would fetish. Jesus do? Think about what Jesus would do. I think getting peed on is a questionable fetish that I don't quite uh, understand. Like, why would you want to get peed on? Yeah, that's that's you know what I'm saying. Like, like lining up for the golden shower is kind of nah, crazy. I don't fuck with that. Isn't it the same as like when guys like to come on girls? Though? What you mean, girls like that? So you it's saying always it's girls for that. guys to like to come, pee? Come, or? come in urine aren't the same things, Taylor. 
I know they're yeah, not. Yeah, but why do girls always think... ask for that? Why are girls so fucking hungry for that? <laughs> for what? <laughs> Just to get drenched up. <laughs> That's a good point. You, what about AIDS and stuff? <laughs> AIDS. I trust AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> I trust AIDS. Do you? AIDS is doing a great job of it. What it does. Uh, I'm not saying it, it should be doing it. Right. I'm saying it's it, it's, it's, it's a fantastic yes, it's virus. Efficient. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like 9-11, you had to in the sorrow and the anger and the and the rage and the sadness, you had to go. Dude, fucking bullseye. Bullseye. <laughs> bullseye. I'm glad you Bulls said it because I can't. You right, know what yeah. I mean? Um, thank Bulls you. Bulls yeah. fucking I.E. <laughs> both? You got both? It's two. You fucking. It's two. And yeah. the Pentagon. Yeah. And the Pentagon. Are you yeah. fucking yeah. Crazy. Boom, boom, boom. And building seven. One building seven. Fucking, yeah. You building, know? I mean, just, oh. Mm. Lord have mercy. They were. Masterpiece, would you say? Yeah. 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 Someone. It's the Mona Lisa. I they had it for sure. I wish they hadn't. Sure. But. Because of all the people that died. Well, they really nailed it. They fucking <laughs> nailed it. People's lives in this country have gotten to the point where they are happy. They're like, well, it's because the American military, they're too focused on uh, trans people and being a politically correct. That's why it's happening. Is that why it's happening? Do you think Putin really is convinced the, the American military is just like uh, some type of, you know, I don't know, extension of the LGBTQ whatever community. Do you think that's what the intel in Russia is telling them? Do you think they're going? I mean, it's a, it's a very stupid way to look at things. That because the military is struggling with whatever type of I trans issues that affect this very small percentage of the military, I think they're still focused on the amount of funding it gets, how big it is, its ability, its positioning all over the world. I, you know, I don't think Putin is uh, invading the Ukraine. Like, he's not worried about America because uh, we're talking about trans people. That's why he. That's why he's doing it. Uh, no, he's doing it because he has more nuclear warheads than any other country in the world. And what are we going to do? What are we going to do? If we were all Christian, theocratic psychopaths who burned gay people at the stake, which is what these people want, you think Putin would be like, no, oh, fuck it. I'm, I like, hey, I'm not invading Ukraine. I'm not doing it now. Now I'm not doing it. No, they, they passed a don't say gay bill in Florida. <laughs> I'm not invading. I don't even want Ukraine anymore. My main goal was that Florida teachers had to out kids as gay within six weeks. Um, that's why. Now, I'm not do. I don't even I don't have any reason to go into Ukraine now. They've just passed a law in America. He convenes everybody. They all they're all in Moscow. He goes, St. Petersburg, wherever here. Uh, hey, guys, they just passed a law that biological born males cannot compete in female sports. Do you know what that means? No, Ukraine. No, we're not going to do it. Because now I'm afraid of them. Now I fear them. I know I have all the nukes, but their moral certitude scares me. I'm scared by that. That terrifies me. See, before, when they were talking about trans people and letting uh, trans people swim, I knew they were weak. But... When they flipped it, when they flipped it and went back to those 19... Because if you remember, when we had all those 1950s values, we had no problems with Russia. You remember that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, we didn't have any. These are all new problems. We never had. When, back before there were trans people or gay people, there was never any issues with Russia, ever, ever. This is all new. In the 50s and 60s, you know, when everybody was like eating burgers and smoking cigarettes and wearing jeans and they were all at the hop. Everybody was driving uh, 57 Chevys and gay people had to shut up and black people had to shut up and trans people had to shut up. Russia loved us. We were like fucking like this. I mean, so th this is the result of that. It's the result of that. He's never worried about it. There is nothing to do with our content. Trust me. 
Putin is not watching our content. It, it, it's, but again, it's silly. And these are silly times for people. And I'm not saying we, we are going over there and fighting. It's not our thing. It's not our war. This is not something where we should be involved. Everybody who's going, no fly zones. He must pay. He must pay. What? We're not in the position to go and fight Russia over the Ukraine. We have military supremacy if we had to fight them over something that we had a genuine interest in. We could, but we're not fighting them over the Ukraine. That doesn't mean that this is, uh, you know, a fun, cool display and that we should all be jazzed about it, but we're not fighting them over the Ukraine. I love Obama, brother. I don't like, obviously he's like the worst president of my lifetime. George Bush is up there too, but... Obama's the best, dude. I don't like him as a politician. Whatever, fuck his politics, but I'm not talking about that. We could separate the art from the artist for a little bit now. He's not an artist, and he has no art. He had a country, and he trashed it. Okay, we could, we could separate the person from his work for a minute. Can we? Indulge me, brother? Uh-huh. Just Obama the guy. If you were to see him, if you're just hanging out, having a great time, if you had a fucking night with Obama, a nice night of fucking drinking and smoking and fucking. <laughs> imagine that, dude, but I'm telling you, all right, not the fucking, but imagine having a night out. You get a few doobies with Obama, you play some basketball, you get some shots up, you have a good time. He's not the most, he's an entertaining guy, though. Like, even, like, joking around, like, I assume he'd be a great fucking time to hang out with. You don't believe so? No, I I'm think. I'm talking about not. We're not going to bring up Ukraine. We're not going to bring up let's not, minimum let's not, wage. Let's, We're not, not, let's bring not bring up. anything political. I feel like if I sat at a dinner table across from him after a long night of drinking and smoking. And fucking. And fucking. And sucking and, and fucking. sucking and fucking and shitting all yeah, over the with place. With the chef. A hundred percent. Imagine an Eiffel like, powered by Obama and his chef. All right. What did he say? Hey. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't want to end up in their fucking pool. Rest wow. in peace. Thank you for your Thank service. Thank you for your service, <laughs> Chef. I just think, genuinely, it'd be like talking to a fucking mortician. 